Have you heard of Anycubic's new resin printer? It's their Photon P1, and while it's unlike something we've seen before, I feel like it's really a missed opportunity. Hear me out. Here is the product launch page for the Photon P1. It boasts a dual color and material vat system you can purchase as a singular vat like a normal, essentially, ecosystem that we're familiar with for resin, or you can purchase as an add-on this two-vat system as this very unique print head. Now, if you scroll down, you'll see this GIF, or GIF, of the dual head in action, and on it, there's a dental model. So the whole kind of motivator for this multi-material design, I think, came from demand in dentistry. If you didn't know, resin printing actually has a lot of dental applications. If you've ever gotten a retainer or braces, normally they put this putty in your mouth to form your teeth and gums, and then they pour plaster in it to get a replica of your teeth. So with 3D scanning, there are these really small scanners that can fit in your mouth, and so they'll scan your teeth, get the STL, print it out of resin, and then use that to create the retainers. It's a quicker turnaround, you can get more accurate models, and it looks like on the right in the clear, it's a printed retainer, although I highly doubt resin printed retainers are end use, it could be more of a fitment kind of test. Basically, the takeaway from this product page is that you're printing two different materials in two distinct vats. You're not really able to print two materials, dual material, on the same print. And that's why I think this is a missed opportunity. I will say that looking at the technical aspects of this printer, it seems like a solid machine. Not only does it support flexible materials, but it has high precision in terms of the z-axis movement with their ball screws. The nice part too is their actual improved release film, so apparently it's supposed to reduce peel forces by 60%, and to those of you who have played with very cheap resin printers, you may have experienced quite a bit of delamination layer fails, or having parts come off of the build plate, or have really weird cured layers that might be offset, and all of that could be potentially attributed to peel forces that occur, either, you know, just improper settings that you use for the material, or just a horrible FEP sheet. When I think of dual color or dual material, what I was hoping was that it would be in the same print. And so, this P1 resin printer starts with a base ecosystem that could allow us to do our own multi-material experiments. The big challenge, too, would be if you were to flip this head around, would be level how do you level the build plate when there's already part of a print on there? So that would be something to consider. The big caveat too here with this dual printer dual vat system is there must be only certain resins that are intercompatible to be printed together at the same time. Like you must have to be printing the same base resin because different resins may have different cure times for layer, different speeds at which the build plate is actually lifted and removed from the vat of resin. And so that makes me wonder, can you really print like a solid resin on one side and a flexible on the other? Maybe not. I'm sure through experimentation that can all be dialed in. One thing I would be really curious to try is pausing the print midway, removing the head, flipping it around, and then continuing the print to try like a striped or multi-material part. The problem is, is that once you remove the head, flip it and put it back on, you are introducing a potential offset or misalignment. The head is probably not perfectly level on both sides, so who knows if your next layers will print perfectly on top of the existing ones. I apologize for my poor Photoshop skills here, but this will get my idea across. I feel like to leverage this whole dual material print thing, it would be interested to see like an automated flip or rotation of this build plate so that we can switch between one material versus another midway during a print. Some add-ons to the existing printer hardware would be a motor for the platform to spin it and an electromagnet that is only activated once the build plate has reached either its flipped or non-flipped position, that way it stays rigidly in that position. A telescoping mechanism can be added so that 
instead of creating a larger build volume for the printer, a telescoping mechanism can be added that just extends enough to be able to twist around the build head. And so the idea is that when you've reached the layer at which you want to switch materials, a little bit of oscillation or vibration is applied to the build head. Not entirely sure how that would be done, but the idea is that the liquid resin that exists on the part gets shaken off and falls into the corresponding vat underneath. Then the telescoping mechanism would extend the build platform just enough so that it could twist it using that motor. The electromagnet would be unengaged or off when the twisting is happening and then re-engaged once it's twisted and at that second stage position. And then the telescoping mechanism would go back and, you know, the multi-material resin printing would continue and this whole mechanism idea is just such that the build plate remains level once it's been auto leveled in the beginning because removing flipping and reattaching the build plate could add that inconsistency and so this idea could hopefully avoid that. I understand that the motor and electromagnet would add a little bit of weight to the build platform, but this could all be considered in the Z-axis ball screw max payload. Added weight to the build plate would also impact print speed potentially. Um, I do think a very lightweight motor can be designed or found for this application. This is just an idea, my food for thought. Okay, editing Dora here. I am in the process of making the thumbnail for this video and looking on Google for some photos of the P1. Looking at this image, I start to have a few more questions. Like for example, these two parts look like they're at different heights. So does that mean that while on the right side that part might be finished printing, it keeps getting dunked over and over again into the vat while the remaining layers of the left side print get done. That feels a little bit unnecessary and also could possibly impact the final outcome of the completed part. I'm wondering too if it's possible for future hardware that has this like dual vat system where instead of one ball screw it's two and this dual head could essentially operate independently so maybe it would start together with like an electromagnet in the center holding the two halves of the build plate together and then once that shorter or smaller part like the one on the right here is done the build plates detach and only the left side as in the photo continues printing until it's done. I get the vision with this printer but I still stand by my intro statement that this printer while it starts with a new idea is a missed opportunity. Now, my brain worm of multi-material resin printing really started when I saw Andrew Sink's videos on this Pio Create Halo X1 printer. So instead of the build platform moving up and down like we've traditionally seen in these desktop resin printers, the vat is the thing that moves up and down the vat full of resin. This platform really inspired me to think about, for example, interchanging vats with different liquids in it midway through a print so that we could create multi-color parts or even multi-material ones. The idea of being able to interchange these resin vats and then implement either a shaking system through oscillation or adding vibration to the print head or adding, let's say, a vat full of rubbing alcohol and then a fan in between was something that I thought could be cool to experiment for a video. So I shot my shot and reached out to PyoCreate wondering if A, the vats are removable and if they sell vats separately and B, if they would be interested in a collaboration. I sent this email earlier in July and didn't really get a response. Now, the whole idea of printing more than one resin in the same print, as in interchanging vats, does bring a few questions up. What we do know about resin printing is that every time we create a new layer, we are dipping the whole build plate in a vat of liquid resin, meaning when we pull up, whatever part is printed is covered in uncured resin. So if we're switching between vats, how will that affect our print? Are we essentially contaminating the new vat of resin? Resin, the next vat of resin with the residual liquid resin on the print? Would vibration be enough to remove some resin to the point where it doesn't matter? Or will we actually have to have another vat full of isopropyl and then in between material changes dip the print in the isopropyl, 
fan it off until it dries, and then keep printing. What about dissimilar materials, like a standard resin versus a flexible resin? How are those different curing parameters going to impact how one bonds to the other? Because I know at least for filament, with my like 3D printed origami, the PLA doesn't bond all too well on top of TPU without actual physical locking features. While those are my existing questions, they can be answered through experimentation, and I think this PyoCreate Halo X1 platform really opens the door having removable vats that allow us to create these sub-modules of vats with different resin, or a washing station, or a fanning off station to be able to switch between materials. What do you think about that? What kind of other questions arise for you when you think about switching between materials in the same resin print? All right, thank you for listening to my rant on multi-material resin printing. What do you think? Is this idea completely impossible? Has questionable merit? Worth experimentation? Feel free to continue this discussion in the comment section below.